wrapping up day 63 my rest day man I tell you what it is getting harder and harder to uh, locate a church in the area in the towns that I'm uh, visiting so I called an online sermon from a local church and uh, with the word today I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me Man, that's always been a, a comforting verse for me, and just to know that, hey, I don't have to count on myself. What it tells me is, I'm the weak one. Christ is strong, and uh, man, I can count on Him. I don't have to count on my weakness, but I can rely on the strength of my Savior. Man, it needs to be less of me and more of Him. Good stuff. So it was a good word, and... Uh, Man, very encouraging. Just a good day resting here at the Human Nature Hostel. Here's my bunk. Cool stuff, Connecticut. Let me show you something, this is kind of cool. There's 14 total bunks. Georgia, North Carolina, Tennessee, Virginia. Sleeves, do you want any ice cream? Yes. All right, West Virginia, Maryland. Hey, are you guys done Pennsylvania. eating? No, I want some ice cream. Done oh, you, oh, yeah. New Jersey. Uh, sleeves might want some. I want some. New York, Connecticut, Massachusetts, Vermont, New Hampshire, Maine. Good stuff. Sleeves here. Day 64 of my AT 2.0 hike. Man, let me introduce you to Yukon. Good fellow. Did that so much. Uh, my name's Yukon. Um, I threw hiked the Appalachian Trail in 2012, seven years ago. And uh, as soon as I made that summit on Katahdin, I knew I, I knew I had to do something to maintain uh, my Appalachian Trail experience. So two months after I summited seven years ago, I bought 42 acres right here and began building this incredible structure behind me, this geodesic dome. Um, and uh, I, I just love, love running this hostel for, for hikers. Uh, over the last seven years, I also was on Naked and Afraid. Uh, I've been on four different challenges, Naked and Afraid XL, Naked and Afraid of Sharks, and Naked and Afraid Alone, which is coming out real soon. So you're not gonna wanna miss that one airing in October, uh, October, November time frame ish But uh, a lot of good things happening here. I've got no plans on slowing down. And uh, yeah, I really appreciate uh, all you guys coming to stay with me and helping me uh, you know, build up this dream and make it, make it bigger. Absolutely. You have got to see this Naked and Afraid. I don't watch much TV. You gotta see the episodes he's on. Man, he, he, he makes the show. He, he, he's a great story, man. Just, they, they keep calling him to come back. There's yeah, a, re yeah, there's a yeah. reason for it. <laughs> well, I appreciate that. I, I couldn't imagine doing anything else that I would find more joy in than this right here. Every day is a beautiful gift, and so are all of you. So come see us here at the hostel and experience it for yourself. All right, just uh, had a little off trail here to uh, view. Wow, here on Wyman Mountain. Check this out. Gorgeous. Man, we got a beautiful day today. Temperatures were in the 40s this morning when we started. We were hiking hard trying to warm up this morning. Man, but gorgeous views today. Man, God is amazing. He's provided a wonderful day today. Fantastic. Look at that. Climbing Moody Mountain. All right, got a little uh, ladder action going. And then some handrails. Cool. Man, Moody Mountain. 
been a pretty good climb right here at the end. Got less than a mile to go. But man, that's straight up. Good stuff. Trail talk today. Man, climbing Moody Mountain. Turned out to be a beautiful day. Breathing hard because, man, it's a pretty tough climb. Trail's been good though, for the most part. A little rocky in places, but man, good stuff. So today, I am thinking about the health of my leg and feet. I've had a couple of folks mention in the comments of some of my videos wanting to know how I'm doing with my break on my leg that happened last year. And man, I want to tell you, I think I've maybe done an update at the very beginning or something, but hey, let me give you, this will be the update to the update if I have. So the update to the update is this. My leg that was broken is really doing well. As a matter of fact, it feels stronger than my other leg. So my legs are both, both my legs are doing really well and pretty strong. And my feet, I hiked all last year with bad feet. Man, my feet were killing me the entire way. This year, thank goodness, my feet have been fantastic. I've tried to do some preventive maintenance on my toes and stuff. So, man, much better this year than last year. So overall, my legs and feet are doing really good. I'll say this, I'm just thankful and blessed that God has given me the strength to do what I'm doing because, oh wow, last year, I didn't know if I was gonna be back and here I am. And it is a blessing to be here because I know for a fact that it's not in my strength, but His that I'm doing what I'm doing. I am weak and He is strong. Good stuff. And that's what I'm sticking to, hanging on to. And man, that's what gets me through the day. And I'm still moving north. So, that's trail talk today. A little view here on Moody Mountain. Cool. Man, such a beautiful day today. Wow. All right, going down a pretty steep little section here. Heading down to South Arm Road. On the descent from Moody Mountain. Now, cool thing is, South Arm Road is another road that takes you into Andover, Maine where we stayed this weekend. Our goal today initially was we we're gonna camp very close to South Arm Road because there were some neat campsites there. But then we stopped for lunch at a little shelter and we started getting some information from some folks about this place called The Cabin. And it's in Andover. And the cool thing is this lady that operates the hostel cooks dinner for you. Man, good food is what we hear. So in case you're wondering what we're going to do tonight, camp out and eat trail food or stay at this place and let this lady cook us dinner. That was the deciding factor, so <laughs> you know the decision we made, right? We're going in and staying with this lady and 
she's gonna cook us a meal. Good stuff. So, a little change of plans. Hey, but you gotta be flexible. I'll show you some more when we get there. Wrapping up day 64. Man, here at the cabin hostel. Good stuff. Hopper picked us up there at South Arm Road. Man, funny thing is we're right back in Andover. So we did about 10, 11 miles today across Wyman Mountain and Moody Mountain. Came down to South Arm Road and got picked up by Hopper who brought us back here to the cabin. Man, Honey is upstairs. Man, she's 87 years old. Been doing this hiker hostel for a long time. Man, her husband passed away this past year and uh, his name was Bear. And man, just hate that. It's been a tough year for uh, Honey. But uh, man, she's sweet. I'll try to show you some pictures, maybe even do a video with her. But. Uh, Man, good stuff. We're going to get some good food tonight, and we'll be back at it in the morning. So, anyway, good stuff. Had a good day. Some neat views, some neat things happened. So, hey, appreciate you sticking with me. Keep hiking. Check the spread out here oh, tonight. Clay, you outdid yourself. This is Honey. How are you doing? Well, I'm doing fine. I, in fact, I climbed a mountain today, and I'm... Just recovering. <laughs> Good for you. Well, it looks like you've gave, you've made a mountain of spaghetti. Well, we hope we got plenty of spaghetti. <laughs> well, we sure do. Thank you. We we appreciate yes, it so much. Right. Thank you for that. It's just amazing. You just amazing. sit down and dig right in. 